Good morning, you guys. It is our first official non-sponsored vlog for you. Um, I, I saw that some of you guys suggested some names for the vlog yesterday, but I don't want it to necessarily be revolved around weight loss or managing the weight loss. I kind of want this to be a more life vlog because, you know, we have so many things happening for us and with us and it's just, it's really kind of cool. Um, but what I'm going to do is go over some of the food that we bought um, yesterday. By the way, I am still down to the lowest weight I've ever gotten to on this diet or maybe like 0.4 over that but I think I've reached the point to where I cannot lose lose anymore and now it's just about maintaining and staying healthy and exercising but I'm gonna go over some of the food that we bought yesterday because I think it's important for you guys to see um, what we chose um, so I'm gonna start with I'm just gonna I'm gonna go into the pantry so what we did was we went into, I wonder if I can change the white balance. Nope, I sure can't. Hold on a minute, I will be right back. All right, that's better. So we went into the cereal aisle and we wanted some bars because bars are really easy for us. They go with the yogurt in the morning and we know exactly what we're gonna get. So um, compared to some of the Nutrisystem ones, we wanted to find ones that were one to 200 calories, low fat, lots of fiber, lots of protein. Now the only ones that gave you protein were the ones with the words protein on it. Um, like the Special K ones here, it's only 110 calories. Um, there's three grams of fat, um, four grams of protein, and four grams of fiber. The Caramel Nut Fiber One bars, uh, 130 calories, six grams of fat, seven grams of protein and five grams of fiber. So there's a lot in there. Now that's, we both got bars for breakfast. I got fiber one, Kashi and um, special K cause they have a variety of flavors, a variety of nutritional um, value. And I just, I wanted to try them all. So now for lunch, um, like I said, I do still have some Nutrisystem stuff here left over because of all the mistakes that were made and whatever. Um, but we went with soups. So with cans of soup, you have to remember that there are two servings in one can, okay? So when you're looking at soups, you have to remember that you got to split it because the whole can will ruin you. So again, between one and 200 calories, low fat, lots of fiber, and lots of protein. So this first one here that I have is the home style vegetable beef, heart healthy from Progresso. <laughs> And in one serving, so half a can, see, one cup, there's 120 calories, 2 grams of fat, 2 grams of fiber, and 7 grams of protein. So not as high in fiber, but you get a lot of your protein. I have a Creole-style chicken gumbo. This one is 110 calories, 2 grams of fat. Um, more fiber in this one, four grams of fiber and seven grams of protein. Again, high in protein. And then this one, chicken noodle, which I'm eating today. I already split up and I'll show you later. It's 90 calories, two grams of fat, only one gram of fiber, but six grams of protein. So with the fiber, you know, it, it will fluctuate, of course, but um, I forget how much you're supposed to actually have. Now, hubby has... Some of his soup is actually a little bit better, but he is reaching the maximum or calories or higher in calories. So he got baked potato with steak and cheese, okay? But in one serving, there's only 200 calories, 8 grams of fat. That is ridiculous, okay? I don't even care who you are, but it's not very often. So hopefully he'll just drink a lot of water. 3 grams of fiber and 7 grams of protein. This one, the sodium isn't so bad. He likes this one a lot too. Sirloin burger with country vegetables. It is 130 calories, 2 grams of fat, 3 grams of fiber, and 8 grams of protein. Plus, in his soups, I'm going to add um, a serving of peas for his Smart Carb in this one and a serving of corn for his Smart Carb in this one. So it really, it kind of matches up. Now, for dinner, we did buy 
um, some frozen smart ones. And that's what's in here right now. So of course we tried to stay in the limit, but there's a variety, of, like this one for me, Chicken Santa Fe. 140 calories, low fat, good fiber, and protein. I've noticed that in these, there's a lot of protein. Even Hubby got some of his pizza, okay? So 300 calories, which is pushing it, 10 grams of fat, which is also pushing it, but four grams of fiber and 17 grams of protein. Um, Swedish meatballs. 270 calories, 6 grams of fat, 3 grams of fiber, and 20 grams of protein. So I will go over, you know, what we have today um, in terms of dinner and stuff. But, you know, we're still doing the smart carbs and stuff. We're still doing, like, the shakes that we still have. He's still eating some of his snacks for the day. So I'm going to... Um, get our lunches together and get our bags together and all of that stuff. And I actually may eat my yogurt now because I have time. We're not leaving until about 8.15. So I'm going to eat my yogurt now, save me time, and um, I will be back a little bit later. I'm not sure what I'm going to include in our vlogs now, but <laughs> you can bet your bottom that we will be talking a lot at dinner time and um, you'll hopefully see more of hubby. I'm gonna try and get before and after pictures up. We didn't actually take a bunch of before and after pictures, but um, I mean, you guys can see he's lost a lot. So maybe I'll just do like a quick snapshot on the video and then take a screenshot of that from a picture that I'm going to use from last year. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so just so you can see how similar we're trying to keep it, Hubby's breakfast this morning will be a caramel nut bar, a yogurt, and raisins. He has a shake and applesauce for his morning snack. He's got peas in that soup in here portioned out and uh, his protein. And then his afternoon snack are the cheese puffs. Two diet sodas. I had my yogurt and I'm gonna have this um, for my breakfast when I get to work. I have my shake my spinach and chicken noodle soup for lunch, and applesauce and peanuts for my snack. So I'm still eating small, I'm still eating light. Um, we're still eating what we're supposed to for the most part. So we will see how this works. This one is so good, so chocolatey. Hey guys, look who it is. It's TJ. So I kind of promised them that I would take like a snapshot of you so they can see like you're after. Well, that was part of the deal anyways, we have to do that. So you want to stand up and I can just turn this around. Hold on. Whoops, wait a minute guys. They got a nice view of the Wait, oh the sun is here, stand over here. Whoops. I guess I gotta stand further back because I or can't. I can oh, you can stand further back. Does he look thinner? Maybe turn to the side so that they can see how flat your freaking stomach is. Holy crap! It doesn't do this anymore. I know, it used <laughs> to. So, this is just about 50 pounds lost. And my legs, too. Yeah, sexy legs. <laughs> So that's really awesome. So we are getting ready for dinner. And um, so this is, this is what I'm going to show you now. So we have our veggies right here, okay? What I'm going to have tonight is the Smart Ones um, Mesquite Chicken. And I wanted to actually look at something. Um, I wanted to get even just the ravioli and look. Okay, because somebody was mentioning, be careful of the sodium. Uh, Nutrisystem food has a lot of sodium too. I think you can't really get around that when you're talking about prepared meals and stuff. So this is only 250 calories, five grams of fat, two grams of fiber, and 17 grams of protein. Hubby is gonna have Salisbury steak because it's got his mac and cheese. 280 calories, nine grams of fat, three grams of fiber, and eight grams of protein. I'm gonna have green beans with mine and I'm gonna make him corn with his. Um, I, I saw these and I was like, oh yeah, potatoes. So we will see how this goes. I will take some snapshots of this once it's all plated up 
and I will see you guys when it is time to eat our dinner. I totally forgot to show Hubby's meal when I gave it to him, but imagine a third more of the steak, half of more of the macaroni and cheese, and two thirds more of the corn. So mine's coming out now. I'm getting ready to plate it up, so give me a second, I'll be right back. All right guys, here's my dinner. It smells so good. Like this is mesquite chicken. It's so barbecue-y. I have green beans and like garlic potatoes. I am so excited for dinner. So actually, why don't I go back to the way I used to do things and do like the first bite impression. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. I'm gonna take a bite of chicken and a bite of potatoes. So hot. What Buddy's eating too? Good. Oh man, this is really good. The barbecue is really sweet. And then you add in the garlic potatoes and it's so good. So I think this one is on the stay on my diet list. So I'm going to eat dinner and we will be back later tonight. Um, Bones is on tonight and we have to watch Game of Thrones again. Not again, but we missed it yesterday. So that's what we'll be doing tonight. Well, what did you do? Because I can't say what will you be doing because you can't tell me because you haven't done it yet. Or you have done it and you're telling me about it now. Stop confusing yourself. Okay, I'm going to go eat dinner. Bye. Hey guys, so like I said, I we still have some Nutrisystem desserts and food and stuff like that. So what I'm doing is pre-mixing two servings of the chocolate chip pudding mix so that it's ready to go in, in the refrigerator when I'm ready for it. Um, Jess from Love for Lacquer was the one who introduced me to this. She had sent me um, an extra packet that she had and I tried it for the first time and it was amazing. Um, and the first time I mixed it, I mixed it with a, just a spoon in a bowl and that was terrible because there was powder everywhere. So what I'm doing is just using a whisk and like kind of a deep bowl and just whisking it all together um, just to make sure that all the powder is dissolved and it gets a nice whipped uh, consistency. And then I'm just going to transfer it into a container and put it in the fridge so that, you know, it thickens and stuff. So that's what I'm doing now. It is 7.20, so we still have 40 minutes till Bones comes on. So I don't know if I'm going to have time to eat this tonight, but I will certainly have um, it for tomorrow and the next day if I do decide. So I will be back in a second. So everything is good in moderation, right? Therefore, potato chips are good in moderation. Um, TJ had a family member send us some Utz chips because we cannot find them down here in Florida. But reading the um, packaging, one ounce of chips, if you measure it like I did on the scale, um, is only 150 calories, nine grams of fat. You get one gram of fiber and you still get two grams of protein. So in moderation. And chips like this in a small bowl, it's pretty good for you know what you need for a snack and so we've been kind of doing that to watch TV at night or whatever and as long as I measure it out it's perfectly okay so just remember that don't eat straight from the bag measure it out one ounce portions um, it is 15 minutes to 8 so we are gonna get ready to go watch bones and then we're gonna watch Game of Thrones and then I will come back and record a little blippy before I upload it to the YouTubes so we will see you in a second. Hey guys, so we just finished watching Bones and Game of Thrones and OMG Game of Thrones, wow. Um, if you don't watch Game of Thrones, then I think there's something wrong with you. <laughs> just kidding. Um, so I'm really tired, it's like 10 o'clock and I'm gonna hop in the shower and then go to sleep because we have another day to work tomorrow. Um, I read every single comment that was left on the past three videos that I've posted and I really appreciate every single one of them. I will address them individually later when I have more time, more of a chance. Um, but for today, I just want to say thank you to everybody for their continued support and thank you for all the wonderful 
awesome comments that you guys leave like it really means a lot to us we read every single one and we feel like you know we kind of got to know you a little bit during this journey and of course this journey is not over it's not done um i can't wait to continue everything else i hope that you guys find some helpful tips from us um eating off of the nutrisystem but still eating sensibly and within the you know calorie ranges and the fat and the protein and the fiber and all of that stuff so i'm going to get to uploading this so that i can take a really nice hot shower because it's a little chilly up here <laughs> and i will see you guys tomorrow um i still don't know what i'm gonna call this vlog I, you guys had really great ideas but i'm not sure i don't know nothing's really clicked yet so oh i don't know help me out because i can always change the name of it for now it may just be cat and tj's daily vlog with the date on it i don't know so um yeah i will see you guys tomorrow have a good night and i will talk to you later bye